All right, Lee Rubin here with us this morning, best known for the comic strip Rubes. He's also the first ever cartoonist in residence at RIT, and he's here with us this morning ahead of this weekend's Imagine RIT event. Uh, Lee, welcome. Thank you, Alexis. Uh, I know your first time on Good Day Rochester, but no stranger to this area at all. You've been here before. No, been I've here many been, times. Been coming here for about 10, 12 years now. Yeah, born in Brooklyn, you said, or uh, Queens? Queens, yeah. And you live where you spend most of your time now where? I live uh, on the California Central Coast. If you've ever heard of Pismo Beach, very close to that. It just sounds warm and lovely. You're near a beach. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first ever cartoonist in residence at RIT, first ever of this kind position for you, uh, when they told you you were going to be presenting and involved in this Imagine uh, Festival, what were your thoughts? Okay, so how can I make this a really cool experience? And uh, part of this, I mean, be, besides my coming out and, and going and visiting various classes and doing presenting and talking about creativity and inspiration, mm -hmm. uh, part of it is doing a, a talk with uh, Mike Johansson, one of the uh, right. professors there on uh, creativity and curiosity mm -hmm. and where ideas come from and, and, you know, looking at the world with big curious eyes. Yeah. Um, for Some people are familiar with your work, Rubes, but for those who aren't, um, and we're showing some of the, the work now on, the, on your screen, hey, what, what would people, can, it, can they expect to see from your work? Well, they, what they can't see is the caption on the bottom, which is squirt gun fights on the dairy farm. <laughs> on that one. <laughs> so this is a cartoonist's worst nightmare is not being able to see your the caption in your cartoon, which happens sometimes, but... Um, Would you say you push the envelope <laughs> in any of your cartoons a little bit? I try to, uh, if I do, I'll do, um, if you look at today's cartoon in the paper, there's yeah. a double bubble where you cover up a uh, naughty word. Okay. So it's not really shown. Yeah. So it leaves it to your imagination. One of my one of my goals is to leave something to the reader's imagination and they can piece it together from their own life experience. I s what are you trying to say in this one? Well, this is this is just a silly one where okay. the it's the uh, you know, weed and feed because we know it's going to fertilize eventually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as well. Interesting. I saw one that okay. showed two cavemen. Here it is. Oh yes, this is un unfriending the early years. Yeah, you know, you think it all started with Facebook. No, this is it was way more up close and personal. <laughs> Back in the day. So, I know this is maybe some of one of the topics you're going to talk about in your in your talk here. But where do you get your inspiration, to, your for to, to for your creativity? Uh, I read a lot. I observe a lot. I mean, I really I. Whether it's online newspapers, I'm still a newspaper subscriber. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I. I'm constantly drawing in uh, you know, inspiration. I listen to a lot of podcasts, mm -hmm. watch television, uh, wherever I can get it from because it's always out there. And since my job demands a new daily mm -hmm. bit of creativity, you know, there's, there's kind of no such thing as writer's block right. because, well, that's what pays the bills. So, so. Uh, when people are looking <laughs> at your cartoons, maybe they get a snapshot of or a little sneak peek inside your mind. Well, d be careful. Be careful in there. It's dangerous. That's what we say about our, our meteorologist, Marty, yeah. <laughs> sometimes. I like him already. <laughs> All right, so where could people see your work? Well, you can see it online, but you, if you live in Rochester, the Democrat and Chronicle okay. runs it daily. Okay. I'm perfectly happy with that. If you come out to uh, RIT for Imagine, you're going to see the big unveiling of a surprise mural mm -hmm. that was created. I created for specifically for Imagine. Sure. And specifically, where can they see you? I know you were talking with senior lecturer Mike Johansson that you uh -huh. mentioned. What time is that taking place? That is going to be at on in the Ingle Auditorium at 11. 11 to noon mm -hmm. on the 27th. That's, yeah, this okay. Saturday. This, this Saturday. Saturday. All right, we have more with Lee Rubin because you, you touched on something about newspapers. You're still a newspaper subscriber. That's been a hot topic these days in yep. communities. And so I want to talk about that and the changes of technology and adapting what you do for the changing times. More with Lee Rubin when we get back.